Today on the Technivers channel, we're going to be taking a look at some lovely items sent to me from visionminer.com, including the nanopolymer adhesive. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. Hey folks, Technivers here. I recently received a beautiful gift package from the people over at visionminer.com and they have sent me a few samples of their nanopolymer adhesive to test out. We're going to be doing just that today. They also sent me a few other things as well as some samples of different materials. These are basically swatches of each material listing what the material is printed using the nanopolymer adhesive and these are all high temperature materials. Now, this does work with lower temperature materials as well, but I have some high temperature materials that it was designed for, and they have also sent me a hardened steel nozzle. I really, really like these nozzle cases. Normally they come loose in a package and I have to dig it out of the bottom of a box, so that's really, really cool, and it is for the E3 V6. So we will be able to put that right on the printer and print some carbon fiber filaments, testing out the nanopolymer adhesive, but they also sent me some extra ones to give away as well as some samples. So today you'll have your chance to win your own test package of the nanopolymer adhesive and two runners up will be receiving a bonus vial. I have another idea in mind for giving away the last full package and single vial. So this, this month we're gonna be running the large bottle just this size, exactly like this. It comes with this, the instructions, the brush, and we'll even throw in a sticker to the grand prize winner and then two runners up will be getting the little bottles that come with the instructions the brushes and they can try it out for themselves now there's a lot of information about this stuff and about vision miner down below in the description so make sure that you check that out pop over there and see what they have on offer because they have some pretty good deals on some pretty amazing stuff that being said let's jump right into this we're going to throw some carbon fiber onto the Ender 3v2, but first we need to change to that hardened steel nozzle. All right, I have a handy dandy instruction card here and it is pretty simple. Step one, clean the build plate. Use water, Windex, or alcohol. Pretty self-explanatory. Definitely gonna need to do that here, although it's not as bad as it looks because we're gonna be using the other side of this. Apply adhesive, use bottle like a pen, draw your print surface evenly, area spread evenly. And then uh, the temperature difference here is pretty simply put. The uh, polymer cools at a different rate than the glass. So if you're printing something that uses a temperature above 300, you need to remove it while it's hot. Otherwise when it cools, it can break the glass. So if you're below 300, wait for the part to cool and remove it and if you're above 300 remove the part while it's still hot so we are going to be below that 300 mark today we're printing with some carbon fiber first in fact i'm going to be testing out something that i really really like it is a tallman tea glaze filament and i can only get it to stick to blue painters tape so the first test of this nanopolymer adhesive that we're going to run is to see if i can get this stuff to stick to a glass bed using this adhesive so let's check it out All right, so we have loaded up the Tallman filament. We need to go ahead and flip this build plate over, see if we can get it a little bit cleaner. And we're gonna be printing at 245 today, because the Tallman is a little higher temperature, which is good because that should be a fair test, I think, of the capabilities of this stuff real quick. So let's go ahead and flip this build plate. I've never used the other side of this. It is pretty well immaculate. Um, there is a little bit of dirt and residue on the corner where the screws sit, so I am going to I have a rag with some alcohol on it. I'm going to run over those real quickly and just make sure that we're doing our due diligence when it comes to the cleaning because that was one of the first things that it said, the first step is clean your build plate. So I think we're looking pretty good right there. So we'll go ahead and clip it on. See we got some drippage there from I don't like it that way. I like it upside down because it's, it's flat. Alright, so 
we're all cleaned up now the second step is to use the bottle like a pen draw your print surface area and spread evenly we're going to be printing a rather large uh, box it's going to look identical to this one right here uh, except we're going to be doing it in this tea glaze so we need to get a decent size area covered with this it says push down and turn we have done that So, to draw this print surface like a pen, we are going to spread that out using the brush that they gave me here. First, I need to prepare one more thing here. the bed just jumped off on me. I'm just getting it ready here. I'm going to make sure that it's up to temp so I'm doing this properly. And don't worry, it'll pause here in just a moment. Or maybe it won't. But I think we have it pretty well spread around, so... <clears throat> yep, there it goes with the paws. I did manage to get it pretty evenly spread, so we're just going to continue. So it'll stop there for a second. Might take a second to heat back up. Once this stuff dries on the build plate, you really cannot see it at all. Um, I'm not sure that it's dried, per se, on the build plate. It looks really tacky, but it's not... Uh, very overtly visible. Let's see if we can get some good adhesion here and keep this tea glaze from lifting off the glass surface, which I've had some trouble with before, as I said, without blue tape, painter's tape. Now it is time for the real test. We are moving again. Let's see what happens. And this is the skirt. I'm getting a nice layer, although I did not put adhesive that far out. You can see it lifting a little bit in the back there already. Like I said, this filament is pretty fickle, so um, you have to get it just right in order to get it print properly. I think this adhesive, if it works as advertised, should do wonders for the problems that I've had with this in the past. And we're going to ways into this model now. As you can see, we have a little bit of stringing, but that is the filament itself. What we are looking for here is adhesion. And amazingly, all four corners of this model are still thoroughly glued to the bed. I have no warping, lifting, or bending, which is virtually unheard of for this filament, for me at least, when not printing on anything other than blue painter's tape. So, so far, really, really impressed with this nanopolymer adhesive. Definitely recommend it if you're using a tea glaze like material. I wanted to show you how well this print came out. So we're gonna take a look at all four corners here. You can see they are very, very flat. I had no lifting on this, which is amazing. Like I said, normally I require blue painter's tape to get this Tallman's tea glaze to stick. And even then, sometimes it can be kind of finicky, but this is gorgeous. I have four perfect corners and the adhesion was as it should be it was perfect so really really impressed with this stuff so far because this is a really difficult filament to work with that's going to be it for this video guys pay no attention to the mess going on behind me pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt check this out finally got the merch available 
That's right, finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way. In fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now, so go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see, and thanks for watching, guys.